Hi, just a test of the new Sony ZV-1, none of that Z rubbish, uh, because in the last video, I, people noticed, and I noticed once people pointed out, a difference in the audio of the uh, built-in mic, which is quite remarkable actually, um, when I was actually behind the camera to in front. So I wanted to test that now. So I've got it on a tripod, it is now an arm's length away from me. I'm using the internal mic. In the previous video, I was using the dead cat. Here it is, the dead cat, which comes with it, which sits on the top, which has sort of like a hard bit like that um on the you can't this is not feel a vision but anyway um so uh, yeah the focusing thing is killer like doop, look at that <laughs> oh 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 it didn't do it it didn't do it for a second there oh the furry dead cat is uh is tricking this sucker um yeah <laughs> It's it's really quite remarkable. I've got the default focus function on at the uh, moment. If I turn off defocus, there you go. So, yep, and now the background will be defocused, but that is just, that is insane. I've got that like a couple of centimeters away. That's just crazy. Anyway, um, audio test here. Right, so no dead cat this time. So, uh, which is about head height, which means that the mic is just, it's flat on uh, top. And apparently it's got a three microphone array. I think it's two at the front and one at the back. I'll have to double check that. Um, so it's doing some sort of, you know, active uh, sort of beamforming. And it may be uh, like optimized for in front of the camera. So that might be the difference. So I'm gonna stay an arm's length away like this and I'm now gonna walk around the camera and I'm gonna speak. Well, let me go check, 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 check. I'm now behind the camera, directly behind. Check, check, check. I'm staying an arm's length away. I'm at the side. Check, check, check. And I'm back in front. Check, 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 check. So we'll see. Um, let me know in the comments down below how that audio worked. So I'll just go behind again. So. Check one, two in front of the camera. And check one, two behind the camera, I believe. I'm trying to keep the same audio level. Um, and, oh, and by the way, in front of the camera, I do actually have a small rig. Um, it's, it's called a small rig uh, cage around it. And it does actually have the bracket just in front of the microphone. I can't actually see the microphone when I'm in front like this, but I can actually see it in the back. And I've got no aircon on here. I've got, um, I'm, uh, to, by the way, if at, at arm's length like this, I'm about 50 centimeters away from it. Usually, if you're using the internal mic, you don't want to be further than 50 centimeters away. So if I actually move back like this, let's actually try it. I do actually have, uh, it's, this is a regular commercial office, so it's got actually uh, commercial acoustic uh, tiles in it, which are supposed to, you know, uh, deaden it. And I've got tons of stuff around me in the lab here. But anyway, this is right back here. I wouldn't expect the audio to be any good. It'll sound very distant. Then I walk up to it, and it should sound a lot, lot better. Sorry about that horrible shot. But yeah, it should sound pretty good when I'm in front. And the VU meter, I believe, um, I think I've got it set to... 20 uh 75 percent audio level or something like that i believe it has like active audio you can't actually you can manually you are i'm manually setting the audio but i believe it has like dynamic compression and stuff like that probably so which is not an option to disable or anything so it's got my eye tracking looks weird this eye here is being tracked and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the focus on this thing is just is absolutely insane. But I think the internal mic sounds pretty darn good on my um, uh, CMS, my focal CMS uh, studio monitors. It sounds fairly on par with a you know similar sort of tonal quality uh, to my uh, Rode Studio Rode mics that I uh, use. Of course, it's not going to be as good, but for an internal mic in a like a you know a run and gun video blogging camera. I think they've got a winner winner chicken dinner. Anyway, let me know what you think. And behind, actually, yes, yeah, so I'm 50 centimeters behind. If I move closer, I'm now probably uh, 30 centimeters uh, behind. So you can let me know. It should be a little bit louder, should be uh, less sort of distant and echoey. I'm now 50 centimeters away, back into 30 centimeters away. Let me know what you think about the audio. I've waffled enough. Catch you next time.